Hello, I'm Sergeant Kevin O'Brien of the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, and I'm here to tell you all about an important program that you should know about. It's called Silver Alert. Before we get started with the training, I want to show you all a 30-second public service announcement that's running on television all over the state of Florida. It's all about the Silver Alert. Take a look. Right now in Florida, there are more than 300,000 adults who could just wander off. Most of them are elderly. All of them are memory impaired. And when they have access to a car, even a few miles away from home can be life-threatening. Today in Florida, there is a program called Silver Alert. It's a way to help us find and protect our wandering lost souls. In 2008, Governor Charlie Crist signed an executive order enacting the Silver Alert Plan. It allows for immediate dissemination of information to the public regarding missing persons with dementia or other memory impairment issues. Now, most of these people have Alzheimer's. Through the use of dynamic message signs posted along major roadways in the state of Florida, local investigating agencies are now able to disseminate information key to finding these missing persons. For the next several minutes, we're going to discuss the Silver Alert Plan, what you can do to help, and what you'll need to do if you see one. The Silver Alert Plan allows for a coordinated response between local and state law enforcement to quickly broadcast important information to citizens as well as visitors so they can assist local law enforcement in the rescue of the endangered persons and notify law enforcement with helpful information. Here are some important facts that we all should know. There are over 4.3 million Florida residents 60 years of age or older. And of that number, nearly 500,000 are probable Alzheimer's patients. 70% of Alzheimer's patients live at home with a caregiver and have access to a car. Now, if you do the math, that means that right now in the state of Florida, over 300,000 people could just wander off. As law enforcement officers, you need to be aware that dementia causes additional problems that put lost persons in serious danger. The Silver Alert Plan has been used many times since 2008, but there have been requests denied, and the goal of this training is to instruct you, Florida's law enforcement officers, on the criteria for using the Silver Alert Plan. This training will show you what to do if you are involved in confirming or even generating a Silver Alert, and what the correct procedures are if you are involved in the recovery and return of a missing silver alert subject. And finally, what your appropriate follow-up and follow-through should be. Now let's talk about some important information that you'll need to know if you're investigating a case involving a person with dementia or Alzheimer's that has become lost. Now Alzheimer's patients can be involved in normal activities. And as law enforcement officers, you need to be made aware that something could happen to cause them to wander off and prevent them from returning home. Here are some situations that could cause them to just wander off. First, they could become agitated with their caregiver and wander off and become lost. Second, if their caregiver falls asleep or becomes distracted, they can also wander off and become lost. And third, if they're left alone at their healthcare facility or home, they could wander off and become lost. Law enforcement agencies should consider having a plan in place involving persons that have Alzheimer's disease that have wandered off where cars may be involved. Law enforcement should include local resources such as involving your zone partners, area officers or deputies by issuing a BOLO, they should contact local media outlets. They should contact the community via A Child is Missing Incorporated for their recorded telephone message that goes out countywide. They should also contact local Alzheimer's organizations and community outreach programs in their area. Most law enforcement agencies in the state of Florida have a policy in place that addresses missing persons investigations. 
Here are some key points to consider. Hey, Dad. Dad, are you here? Dad. There is no required waiting period before a person Pop. can make a missing person report. Dad. Dad. Nine one emergency. Hi, my name is Chris Johnson. I'm calling to report a missing persons, please. It's my dad. His name is Frank Johnson. Um, he's never done this before, and I'm really worried. I don't know what to do. How old is he? He's 73 years old. Does he have any memory problems? Yes. He's got Alzheimer's. Be aware of your agency's policies and procedures for taking missing persons reports. The vehicle is gone. The keys are gone. Okay, well, I'm talking to you. We're going to send help out to meet with you, okay? Oh, I, I really appreciate it. We flirt that. authority state statute 937.021 for additional information. Any unit in the area of 100 Flamingo Avenue, reference a missing persons, possible Alzheimer's patient. 14 Alpha 23 1026. I acknowledge the 1026. The Silver Alert Support Committee strongly recommends that all law enforcement agencies initiating the Silver Alert make referrals to appropriate organizations in the community for follow-up and intervention upon the recovery and return of the Silver Alert subject. For Silver Alerts, persons are diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease or other dementia-related disorders. Here are some things to look for during your investigation to help establish an Alzheimer's or dementia-related diagnosis. Start by asking the caregiver if the person has been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease or any other dementia-related disorders. This will be one of the most reliable methods. Or you can ask the person if they have had major changes in his or her ability to make decisions and conduct everyday activities, such as finding their way in familiar locations, managing finances, caring for themselves, dressing, eating, and if they have shown significant memory loss. Ask if they are taking any medication that is used exclusively for Alzheimer's disease or other dementia-related disorders. Now, if any of the above leads you, the law enforcement officer, to determine the person may have Alzheimer's or dementia-related disorders, you should consider the following. These missing persons will have trouble with abstract thinking and may not recognize road signs or law enforcement personnel. They may make judgmental errors such as driving into the woods or water and perhaps driving the wrong way on the road. They don't often ask for help and they don't realize that they are lost even in very strange environments. After gathering the information, you should follow established procedures within your agency. But if a policy is not in place, here are some guidelines to follow. First, make sure that a bolo is issued in all the areas that the missing person may travel through. Second, make sure the person is entered into FCIC and NCIC to include all of the pertinent medical conditions. Third, if you have a picture available, scan it into FCIC to have it available for distribution. Now this is what you need to know to activate a silver alert. The missing person must be 60 years or older and there must be a clear indication that the individual has an irreversible deterioration of intellectual faculties and this must be verified by law enforcement. Dynamic message signs may also be used under extraordinary circumstances for persons between the ages of 18 and 59 if law enforcement has determined that there is irreversible deterioration of intellectual faculties. The law enforcement agency's investigation must conclude that the disappearance poses a credible threat to the person's welfare and safety. There must be a description of the vehicle and a tag number to display on the dynamic message signs to include make, model, year, color, tag number, and state. The Silver Alert Plan activation process will require the local law enforcement agency conducting the missing person investigation to contact a missing endangered persons information clearinghouse at 1-888-356-4774. The clearinghouse will confirm that the case facts meet the criteria using a questionnaire specifically designed for the Silver Alert Plan activation. Now perhaps the greatest tool we have are the dynamic message signs. 
These are the signs that are posted all over the major roadways in the state of Florida. They provide a means to broadcast important information to motorists, and they absolutely enhance local law enforcement's response. In order for the dynamic message signs to be activated and for the silver alert activation criteria to be met, all of the following questions must be answered with a yes. Has a primary criteria been met? Has your agency made contact with local media outlets? Has your investigation concluded that the disappearance poses a credible threat to the person's welfare and safety? Is there a description of a vehicle and a tag number to display? Has your agency confirmed and verified the tag information? And has your agency entered the missing person into FCIC and has a statewide BOLO been issued? So how's the silver alert working? Well, reports show that because of the silver alert, more recoveries are being made and more lives are being saved. And now with the heightened awareness of the silver alert and with your help, we can go a long way to help prevent tragedy among Florida's most vulnerable citizens.